I want to help you get more out of church. So this short video is going to talk about how you can do that. Um, Cause I think a lot of people go to church, don't get what um, they could get. And then they stop going to church. So I want to help you get the most out of church that's possible. And I've been going to church since 1998, um, many church services. And, and this has really helped uh, me. So the first thing is, before you go to church, we're going to talk about prepare for church. We're going to do a two-part video, um, but this is just going to be the prepare for church part. And and just like, um, it seems like Sundays are, are a little crazy, but you need to take time out in the morning, do a little Bible reading. You're preparing your heart um, for church. So you're going to read some Bible, and then you're going to pray. And these are some areas that I think, um, that you should pray. Okay. So let's, let's first talk about, we're going to talk about, um, praying for the worship. Okay. The worship is there to, to get people ready for the message. And, and that's the whole goal, but you're, you're praying for the worship team. I mean, individually pray for them. If you know, who's going to perform that day, um, and it's their job to get us ready for the sermon. So you're praying for that time and you're praying for your own heart that the worship will be impactful and meaningful and it'll bring people closer to Jesus. You're, you're praying for those things. It, it's a um, it's a big deal. There's a reason we sing music. It's to get our heart ready for the preaching. So you're you're praying for that that uh, that goal um, of people to get ready for the preaching and then pray for the message. Pray that the message will be very impactful, okay? Um, Sundays are spiritual battle days, and and I most my kids have moved out, but I remember that Sundays could have been some of the craziest days before church. There's just spiritual battles going on all the time. And, and people, again, we have the worship to work on that, and, and now we're having the sermon. So pray that the sermon impacts people. That is our goal. We want people to be impacted by, by the Word of God, and you're praying for that. You're preparing for, for God to do something. You're expecting God to do something. This makes church more, more um, uh, what would I say, uh, more impactful in your life and other people's life, but it, it just makes it more real. It makes it more, um, I can't think of the word, but it, it is something that needs to be done, praying for that message. You're, you're sacrificing times um, and praying for it. You're more invested in, in the message when you've prayed for it before. Not only do you pray for it to impact other people, but you also pray for your own heart again. God, help me. God resisteth the proud, but giveth more grace to the humble. And you're asking God to humble you and, and to obey his word. Because a lot of times we hear the word and we just kind of move on. But we want to personally obey it. And then also pray for your family. If you got loved ones in there, kids um, that you bring to church, wherever they're at, if they're in Sunday school. You know, pray for pray for Sunday school or the, the kids' service. Pray for every aspect. Pray for the ushers. You know, pray for the connect team. You're praying for every part. You're praying for the message, the worship, for every part. Maybe you have connect teams or there's something going on right now. We're having a, a, a life group kickoff. Pray for that. People will get involved in, in, in more life groups. We're just praying for every aspect of the service. Pray for connection. Pray for connection with people that you don't know. Pray for um, people that you do know. You know, if, if someone has asked you to pray for them and you haven't that week, pray for them right then. So if they ask you during the service, hey, you, you know, or you when we'll talk about that next week, what to do when you go to a service. Uh, but you can tell them, I'm, I'm praying for you. How's it going? Um, but just pray for every aspect. If you have two services, pray for both services. Because, um, again, we want people to be impacted, just like this picture here. 
people are being impacted. Um, people are going to be impacted to start churches. People uh, are going to be impacted to be saved. People are going to be impacted for their marriage and and to be a better father and a better dad. And, and that's the same thing, right? But uh, to be a better Christian and they're going to be um, convicted. Pray for conviction. And pray for the leadership. Um they they have a spiritual battle too that they they go through the leadership i've been in you know i've preached i've i've taught classes done all sorts of stuff and there's a spiritual battle there too so pray for all the pray for your pastor um some people have um teaching pastors and and different kind of pastors but pray for your leadership pray for each one of them just get invested in your church um because you want it to be more impactful for you. And I guarantee you when you're invested, um, it's like everything. If you're invested at work, if you're invested in, in, in a, uh, uh, where you go work out or whatever, when you get invested, it's more important to you. It's more impactful. It, it means more to you. And we're there to change lives. We're there to reach people. And by you praying, you're helping that spiritual battle in your own life and in the life of your church. So I challenge you um, to do that, to pray earnestly, fervently. Uh, the prayer of a righteous man availeth much, the Bible says. And so we want, um, you want, um, God wants us to, to be invested in his church. He died for the church. He's the one that set this, set the church up to reach people, to reach the hurting Christian, you know, and, and, and just pray for every part of the service. Um, so next week, not necessarily next week, but next video, um, we're going to talk about when you go to a service, because I think we lose a lot of opportunities when we go to a service and we don't, um, there's certain things I think you can do that can just help other people, help you. Again, we're, we're trying to make um, church more impactful in your life and other people's life. So next week, we'll talk about when you go to a service, what do you do? You do? So also, I'll put some other, I do other videos. And if you're interested in, um, we have some battle verses that we do. I'll put one of those up. And we're just trying to do other things to help um, men to re-enlist into the fight, not be adrift, not be disconnected, but we need men to be in this fight. And this is one way um, Jesus died for the church and he wants this church to go and the gates of hell uh, cannot um, stop the church. And, and we're going to claim that promise. So until next time, um, stay in the fight. And again, pray for your church. Pray for the message, the worship, every aspect of it. I challenge you to do that.